Father. Father, please come away. Now, Diana Rigg. You mustn't do this. You're only helping them to hurt you more. Heartache and a thousand natural shocks that flesh is there too. Is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die. To sleep. To sleep. A chance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil? must give us pause. Didn't you? How many actors have you destroyed? Have you destroyed me? Sure. How many talented lives have you cut down with your bullets? What do you know of the blood, sweat, and toil of a theatrical production? Of the dedication of the men and the women in the noblest profession of the world? How could you know, you untalented fools who spew vitriol? and the efforts of creative artists because you lack the ability to create yourselves. No, Devlin, no, I did not kill Larding and the others. Punish them, my That's dear boy, right. punish them. Justify. Just as you shall have to be punished. Right. I'll get it over with then. Kill him now! Kill Just him so long now. as you don't make me have to listen to that demented rubbish of yours. Kill him! Go on, kill me. I'll do it if you don't. I'll kill you when I am ready. Next week, Lousy next critic. month, perhaps next year. Oh, I am going to make you suffer as you've made me suffer. Welcome to the Critic Circle Awards presentation. You will remember it, of course. It was a memorable occasion for all of us. Today, however, we are going to restage it, and you will again present the awards. Nothing you can do will sway me from my original judgment. Your judgment was ill-considered and irresponsible. It was neither. We gave the award to William Woodstock because your performances lacked originality. Lacked originality? My Julius Caesar? Cut down by a drunken mob in an abandoned warehouse. My Titus Andronicus, this is your dish, Meredith married you. My Othello, one of the greatest performances in the history of the theater. Nothing you can do or say will alter my decision. Kill him! We shall see. Think of what you've done to her with this insane vendetta of yours. It's an insane. My daughter. What have I done to you, my daughter? Good my lord, you have begot me, bred me, loved me. I return those duties back as our right fit. What Obey you, love you, most honor you. Give him the award. But never, never, Kill never, him. never, never. Never, never, never. So be it. Edwina, you will present me with the award. Yes, Father. It will be the last thing that Mr. Teflon will ever see. The Critics' Circle is happy to present this award for Best Actor of the Year to Edward Lionheart. Ladies and gentlemen, it is always a nostalgic moment when we come to the end of a season, especially one that has been as successful as this one. Will you join me in a toast to the immortal bard, William Shakespeare?
consume the this down. happy world, and in its ashes, let my memory lie. She died. Now, superb acting by Vincent Price. He proved he could have been a great Shakespearean actor. My only objection to this film, there were some scenes of violent deaths. Of course, Shakespearean plays were violent. And there was a group of homeless people that I think were helping him, but just shown too often. But superb acting by Vincent Price, also well abetted by Diana Rigg. On the rule scale, we're first magnitude's best, tenth magnitude worst. Theater of Blood from 1973 garners a 2.75 rating. I urge you to watch it the next time it's on the late show on about every year. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>